there, kids. It's me, Oni the Unicorn. And I'm here to tell you that f***ing your dreams ain't cheap. In fact, it costs a f ton of cash to do. So that's why me and the Ono Radio Show need your help. Just go to the website displayed below and hit us up with some cash, yo. One dollar, five dollars, fuck a million dollars if you have it to spare. Any amount is appreciated. Well, I gotta go because these dreams ain't gonna fuck themselves. See ya! I've decided is that children singing might be the most annoying shit on planet Earth. That's right, hey. that's right, that's right. We're back, motherfuckers. It's the Odo Radio Show. This is your first time listening. Well, I'm the captain of your shit ship. My name is Owen. Along with me tonight, it's my good friend Ty. Back in Wisconsin. Hey, back in Wisconsin. And uh, Yes, sir. And Mikey B, well, Mikey B can't be here tonight because he's slinging the tacos. But we do have a very good friend. And uh, someone we call upon in times of need. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our good friend, Travis. Travis, how you doing, buddy? Hey! I'm good, man. I'm doing good. 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 Yeah. 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 Ty, I like how I uh, tried to keep the phone call operational there while we were on break. And, of course, even that's too difficult for you. I was like, come on, man. I never left the thing. Yes, you, well, yes, you did, because you, you, I had to invite you back to the thing, so clearly you left the thing. Doesn't matter. Post, that post nut clarity for the show, man. <laughs> yeah, get one out. Is that what yeah, you exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can't say as I've ever actually done that one. Yeah, I've done, uh, <laughs> I got to, you know, maybe, maybe do a couple of little things, little. Pre-show smoke, oh, but uh, but uh, I don't know if I've ever uh, ever rubbed one out in that regard. It really is a break activity. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, that's what the front porch is for? Things get weird, <laughs> dude. It's probably started out with group masturbation. Fuck it's, yeah. It's probably not, honestly, the uh, the worst <laughs> of things that have happened on break around here. If we're being quite <laughs> honest. <laughs> But no, we uh, we we thank you for joining the show this evening. Like I said, Ty, you're uh, after a small trip down to Orlando. You are back in uh, Wisconsin. Let's talk a little bit about your uh, your journey back home. How was it as eventful as your journey down here? Much smoother. Okay. Uh, can't complain. Like you know, no uh, no breakdowns, no stops of any sort, really. <laughs> right. You had you had your mom's reliable car, so that probably helped a yeah. little bit. Yeah, it was a, it was it was nice in all honesty, man. <laughs> like it was uh, a nice there was a cruise. lot of rain, which was sort of shitty, but no big deal. How long did it take you this time? Um, all in all, like twenty two hours, I think, 22. with stops and shit. Twenty two. You make hours. it? Do you do two days? Or do you no. just in the car on the side of the road? I tried to sleep, but I didn't sleep. Like I pulled over twice to like just stop driving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I closed my eyes and I would have slept if I could have, but I didn't really. You didn't have I didn't any sleep. Yet. I just closed my eyes and it was fine. Sometimes that helps, man. That's what you need. Exactly. Yeah. Dude, the late, especially at night, man. Those like just the paint 
on the road, like it becomes oh, yeah. hypnotizing. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four hours of just no matter how loud the music is, the windows down, it's just like, boom, 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 boom. dude. Like, yeah, I don't, dude. I don't know, man. I'm completely also, with you because I was driving my mom's car. Like I was, I was trying not to chain smoke like I normally do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that does help you stay awake as well. Mm-hmm. I will say, I asked. I was like, "So did it smell like cigarettes when you got in?" Because she's been driving it again, you know, the last couple of days, and sure. she did. She's like, "Oh, you smoked in it?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> People are asking in the chat room if I'm wearing rollerblades. I think probably because of my sweet pink bandana. Uh, no, I don't have any rollerblades on currently. But if I did, I'd outskate every last motherfucking one of you. Because Bro. I'm, I'm a blader, my friend. I'm, I'm I just a- got new rollerblades like two weeks ago. <laughs> no shit. Me and Ashley. Dude, our, our streets just got paved. Like, they're brand new. We, we've been blading hard. Yeah? I was in a rollerblade tonight, but I'm doing this instead. What so. what type of blades did you get? The rollerblade blade brand. I got the Zetra blades. They were, like, on sale for 99 bucks. So nice. They're pretty entry-level rollerblades, but... See, I got a pair of CCM hockey rollerblades. And, uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, honestly... No, I see, fuck quads. Quads are garbage. The chat room's saying quads. No, 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 no. I could actually never skate on quads. But I will do circles. Quads are awesome. I will do I circles will... around you backwards <laughs> on my rollerblades. And I'll do, I'll do a backwards crossover like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I used to play. I used to play ice hockey, so I got. I, I do have. I do have some some pretty sweet rollerblading skills. Believe it or not, <laughs> I've been about ten years since I actively was playing street hockey and stuff. Yeah, like no, probably longer than that. Geez, like probably fifteen years. And it, I gotta say, three days, three days, and it came back. Yeah, it takes a little bit of. It does take a little bit of time. I always it's feel the like, muscles, like my lower back. I'm like. Fuck, I feel archaic, man. Like that crap you take advantage you take for granted as a kid, you yeah. know? Like it's probably like, the someone's asking the last time that I put on a set of rollerblades, it probably has actually been close to seven, eight years. Whenever that was Ty, remember we did the challenge where I raced yeah. the roller derby girls around the neighborhood and they uh well they they only they whooped your ass. They, well they only slightly beat me by about three blocks but but, but only uh three blocks yeah but i think that was probably uh that was probably the last time uh you know i uh you know i had i had some rollerblades on but yeah uh trav i do have to ask what's with the cut underneath your eye my friend what's uh what would you do to yourself oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it looks like i got punched it but, does um, it does yeah, it's Fight, actually Fight Club. This new no, girlfriend is she that even, ab- she's that abusive cool already? Story. Yeah, this this new girlfriend she's that abusive already. Like, what's going on? You know those music those musicians, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> temper, temper. Another fucking bender, and they mm-hmm. start swinging. Mm-hmm. No, I was actually um uh my buddy Justin was in town. He now lives in Canada, so we went to the shooting range, and you have to wear masks now because the county has like a mandatory mask ordinance. And so uh, you have the safety goggles and a mask on, and one of the bullet casings went up and got caught in between my glasses. What? And them. That's uh, no, that sounds awful. That, was it like it hot? was there for like a second? It looks way worse than it was. I was like, oh, that kind of burnt a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna and say it's I, like I a burn. And I was then. like, oh my god, what happened? Yeah, but, that's hmm. that's nuts. That's nuts. it's just a little twenty two, like teeny little thing. But yeah, yeah that's where it landed. S- Sam in the chat is like, blink twice if you need help, Travis. Just, just. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hi, Ashley. Sorry. No, love you, babes. Yeah. I'll have dinner on the table. I promise. Guys, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of dinner on the table, uh, Travis lately has been uh, compiling a uh, doing a couple of uh, tutorials on Facebook uh, of cooking tutorials. Travis is an amazing is an amazing cook. I think all self taught pretty much, right? For the, I mean, I worked in some restaurants, but for what I do now, yeah. Sure, much. yeah, yeah. But they, uh, I implore you to to check those out. You can find them on YouTube. We'll actually be playing. A, uh, a couple of those uh, videos on break when we go to break this evening. Uh, this evening we've got, let me see the ones I lined up for us here. Uh, and Trav, uh, I know we've got caprese salad, how to make a perfect caprese salad with your Ew. own with your own reduction, right? Your own balsamic reduction. You should be doing it if you're not. It's just so easy and delicious. Exactly. Uh, we've got that, and I believe, oh, what was the next one you did? Can you remember? 
Uh, Lotes, maybe? Lotes. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, I don't think it was that one. It was another one. Might have been chimichurri sauce. Yes, chimichurri sauce, I think. So yes. we're, you'll get tips on that when we go to break if you're if you're interested. And uh, and yeah, you'll 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 be having fun uh, with with hopefully you know uh, something like me. something something to put on break <laughs> you, you know like while while we're doing this whole thing while we're taking our smoko and uh, and yeah like you know what's better than having somebody that actually knows what they're doing in the kitchen tell you a little bit you know uh, about how to do it because quite frankly Travis's cooking is some of the best I've ever had. Uh, oh, you flatter me, sir. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Ty, Ty, <laughs> though, Ty, your your sounds. I mean, your parents are obviously really good cooks as well. What's been going yeah. on uh, in the world there since you got back? Have you had any good meals? Well, I mean, I got back. Um, what was it? It was Wednesday afternoon, right? And so then yesterday. I, yeah, was was that yesterday? Wait. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. All day. Yep. So I got back and I was up for another maybe a couple hours and then I slept. So I really haven't. Today was like a leftover lasagna situation, which was pretty good. <gasps> that's well, one of those so ones. Much better leftover. That's one it was of those real, It's banging. <laughs> yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Lasagna is one of those few foods that are so much better the next day. Like a soup's always better. Mm-hmm. A lasagna Chicken salad. Even spaghetti, you know, like it's just all those flavors kind of like sit there and they mold into each other and they kind of (laughs) expand and like, oh, yeah, lasagna for damn sure. Always better the next day. I also like kind of for some reason, there are some foods that when microwaved actually taste better and they're few and far (laughs) between. But microwave lasagna after it's been cooked the night before, for whatever reason, that microwave, all those sweet, sweet radioactive chemicals just sets it off for me i can't i can't lie it was warmed up in the microwave (laughs) yeah it's i mean it's nice it's just nice yeah so we're gonna switch gears a little bit here and uh me and me and travis it's funny because almost on the same exact day we've been victims of family facebook drama yeah yeah i we need a good term for this i mean it's it's like boomer book or or something like that because yeah ffd doesn't cut it yeah yeah Uh, but you almost had the same exact thing as i've had right where yeah we've i mean to be quite frank i didn't know how to talk about this uh black lives matter issues and, and and a lot of the things that we're seeing just in the world today, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable sort of like voicing any of my opinion. And and finally, after just kind of doing some research and talking about things and sort of growing, hopefully, as a human being a little bit, I've learned a little bit more about the situation. And uh, and I felt compelled to to kind of after seeing some of ig- some ignorant posts by you know, I'll just I'll just say it by my dad. And, and friends of my dad and what have you, I felt the need to to kind of just say something about it and I, uh, and I did. And uh, I'll just I'll just read it you know really quickly. I said, I've had a tough time trying to articulate how I feel lately. The one thing that keeps shouting loud in my mind is how much people are quite okay with being blissfully ignorant. I've had to learn a lot lately and it's embarrassing I wasn't taught some of it as a child. yet I know it's okay to grow and learn. The biggest takeaway from this for me is, and anyone that reads this, is that I'll no longer be tolerating any of your boomer, borderline hate speech. Understand, family and friends, I'll be actively calling you out on this shit. Part of the problem is ignoring your posts, comments, and comical little jabs. I will no longer be silent about this blatant disregard for human life. And uh, for the for the uh, most part, everybody that uh, that commented or you know uh, had anything to say on this post was was super positive you know they they uh can understand where i'm coming from and quite frankly uh why wouldn't you be to a certain degree i think Uh, i'm not you know i'm not saying any revelations here by any means it's stuff that we all probably know but i've had a hard time just kind of thinking about and uh and and being able to put into words so (laughs) the 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 one comment that i did get from my dad is Get off the weed. See a health professional. <laughs> don't worry. See you in 2023. First off, I don't really know what the hell he's on about uh, with with uh, with half of that. 
I get the I get the uh, the general kind of like there's an aggression there that pure right. that, that clearly didn't need to be I think uh, voiced I'll say um, but I, I have I haven't responded to that one yet and I don't know that I I will. Uh, it, I, I, it's a I, weird comment, man. It doesn't it, really. It's like, what's your what's your angle, bro? What's what's like, the end goal? I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure I, the marijuanas are definitely yeah, obviously disagree with what your implied view of my stance on this is. Like, and it almost in a in a strange way, kind of, yeah. Passive aggressive Sam is is completely right. Uh, I think in a strange in a weird strange way, it almost makes the point for me. That that there's people are angry there, about yeah. things changing. Like but, they're angry, man, about it, like wanting everyone to be treated equal. And like it, it feels like they they don't see it. They they're like the first people to say like, oh, black people aren't oppressed. And it's like, I mean, you're a white dude. Like, what, what, right. what do you know about <laughs> being a black person in this country? Like, yeah, what do you know about women's issues? Like, it doesn't. You exactly. Can't you, you tell someone how they've experienced their life. Like that's that's what their life is is a set of experiences, you mm -hmm. know? And like how bold to just say like no, you're wrong. Everything you think you've experienced, it's wrong. Like it's it's wild. Yeah. And it's just like I don't understand like why people are just digging their heels so far fucking into the ground. Like if people want people are telling you they're hurting like what okay, so like there's tons of numbers and statistics and facts to back this up, but you know, they're going to listen to some token black person that agrees with them. And they're going to share that YouTube link instead of like reading a book by a fucking doctor who has written a book about this, you know, it's, Absolutely. it's wild. Yeah. Uh, why some of these things got to be political. It's crazy. Uh, Norm in the chat room is saying, and you're right. Like mm. this, this is almost one of those. That's just like, I, I don't understand why this is, you know, uh, on either side of the political spectrum. You know, it, it it feels pretty simple to me that, hey, you know, mistreating other human beings is wrong. Yeah. And, uh, and that's always the number one defense, man, is like it's any time like, hey, police brutality is a real fucking problem in the States. The prison numbers, black people and white people commit crimes at identical numbers that the prisons don't reflect that. So. What gives here? Like, what's the common denominator? It's either the judges or the police officers. So let's talk about that. And they're like, but the Democrats did this. And whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about the Democrats right now. We're not talking about Republicans. We're talking about black people that are in jail that shouldn't be in jail. Exactly. Well, we've got over a fifth of the world's prison population. And that, that's we obviously are a not even close to that as far as the world's actual population. Like, uh, it's okay. If you love your country, man, it's okay to want to make it better. I think that's part of like being an American. Right. That's part of the American experience is being part of that process and trying to make it better. It's the I, most I, patriotic thing you can do. The Revolutionary War fundamentally kicked off when uh, you know the Brits shot five guys in Boston that were unarmed. Like that was the Boston Massacre, the fucking giant riot. Like absolutely. I I I I look at it too. Like just in this past, for, for whatever reason, like it's been brewing and brewing and brewing. But me and you kind of agree with this, Trav, like when we talked last night that that there's there's something going on in this past, like even five days. Like I've seen so much of it that it's for some reason we're like maybe it's like this weird tipping point with our with our families. But you had a similar situation, did you not? Yeah, with my mom. Yeah. And she's like. She's like, you're not watching the videos I'm watching. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, white people are being attacked for being white right now. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the discussion. Like, this is <laughs> what black people deal with and have been dealing with since they landed here, since they came to North America, you know? And uh, she's like, all this hate's coming out of this. And I'm like, she keeps like associating the violence with the Black Lives Matter movement right that and that is the tragedy and like everyone's quoting like oh the media is trying to tell you this the media i haven't had cable in years like i have no clue what the actual media is saying like yeah. i 
have had conversations. I've read books. Our, like, our demographic does stuff. not have the news cycle on all day long. Like, like uh, right. I, our I demographic NPR on when I drive places. And it, yeah, exactly. Like, well, that's pretty much my my news source. You know, hundred percent. It's a weird, weird part about being back here with you know the parents. Mm-hmm. They have seeing, the news on in the morning and stuff. Drinking well, the coffee. my my dad is news laden like at all times of the day. And, and let me guess. Let me guess. Is it? Um, I'm, I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's RT news or uh, all the uh, very progressive news source. I'm sure it's. You know. Uh, it's BB, mostly BBC. Fox. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, of course, it's fucking. You know, it's it's Fox the dad news, news station, all day. It, it, yeah, you gotta you gotta own a pair of white. You know, uh, new white balance, New Balance yeah. to 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 really get it. Apparently. Yeah, but 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 <laughs> you got to be totally content with like packaged hot dogs on a grill. But it's also kind of sad in your mom's case, Trav, that she actually like is fearing the fact yeah. that that like as a white person she can't go anywhere or do anything right now because she feels like she's going to get attacked by looters or or you know yeah. killed dead in the street for being white. And I'm I'm fairly confident that hasn't happened anywhere. It's, I mean, there are some places that it's happened. Like, there are people that are on the very, very anarchist end of this movement spectrum, right, that exists, that are doing very unjustifiable things. They're doing criminal acts, right? Yeah. But that's not what the BLM movement is. And, like, what the Turning Point USA and Shapiro and all those assholes Mm -hmm. have done is they've attributed this violence to this movement, right? So they have made this seem to people like my mom and your father. Like, this is a movement of violence. My mom still thinks that they're protesting slavery. (laughs) And I'm like, what What are you talking about? Like, slavery hasn't existed forever. And she's like, yeah, exactly. Like, there's no slavery. And I'm like, that's not where racism, racism doesn't end at owning a human. No, exactly, exactly. There's far more to it than that, and it's a nuanced yeah. dis- and it's a nuanced discussion that that I, that we all need to have. I don't, I don't. Also, it's by a that same point, complicated one too. Bro. It is complicated, and when it comes to like one of the things that a lot of people understand that we were talking about again last night is these statues, these statues that are being torn down of Confederate leaders and what have you. They weren't put up. Uh, right at like during the Confederacy, these no. were put up in what the '60s in a lot of cases. Like, yeah, the during the Civil the Rights South Movement or something like that. There are a bunch of cheap cast bronze statues that were at that were put up in the middle of the Civil Rights Movement, like to as a fuck you li- for black people to oppress black people for the it, sole purpose of that reason. Exactly, and that's why it's important to remove them. It's not removing history, and even if you think of it that way, well. History belongs in museums and Absolutely. and and or even cemeteries. Like I know there was a big thing here in Orlando a couple of years ago where there was a Confederate statue that was removed and they ended up they didn't want to completely destroy it because there is regardless of what how you look at it, there is a historical significance of it. But Absolutely. But like that belongs in a museum or a cemetery or it doesn't belong as Robert fucking Lee, General Lee, like on the goddamn corner of. He's uh, not an American hero, dude. N- no, exactly. I hate to break it to you. He's a fucking terrorist by every definition of the word terrorist. Absolutely, right? absolutely. It's it killed. Is, he his how many fucking Americans did he kill? Like that's like yeah. If you really want to look at it like that, and and even flying that flag, like we should all remember what that flag is. But much, I think, in the same way that it's not legal to fly, you know, swastikas in Germany, you know, uh, to Mm -hmm. this day, I'm not sure that you should be allowed to really roll around with a Confederate flag on the back of your goddamn pickup truck. I think you should be allowed to, but I think you should suffer the fucking repercussions that come from it. It's not okay to do. Like, it's just not okay. And if you get fired from your job for your Southern pride... Dude, the Confederacy was around for four years. I saw something online today, yeah. and it was like Phineas and Ferb has been around for seven. Dude. The children's show. And I'm like, the Ono Radio Show has been around for ten fucking years. Like the, the Ono Radio Show is twice as old as the Confederacy was. And and what's I mean, <laughs> gay, uh, That's just uh, gay marriage. Like, gay marriage. Longer longer than the Confederacy right. at this point. So yep. all of this is just so like fucking just uh, I'm seeing it boil over. I don't know that. Uh, 
I don't know where we go from here because I don't know that I can have a, a decent discussion about this with my parents because there's just that, that one track mind mindset. You're, you're not going to change these people, people's opinions on certain things. The one that set it off that was really like irritating to my dad, apparently, was being a former like real estate broker. He was mad that there was a county in Texas that was changing like the usage of the, the term master bedroom because obvious for obvious reasons. They are now going to call it the primary bedroom. Now, I understand that to some people that might seem silly and to a degree I kind of get that in a way, but it's not silly when it's, it's something that's very, very simple for you to change. And how much does it affect your life, Dad, not that enough. that you're not allowed to use the term master bedroom? It's like, what's the world gone mad? You can't yeah. say like the, a term master bedroom. And it's it's the same as the Aunt Jemima people that don't understand that just it's this is a symbol of things changing. Yeah, is is is. Is Aunt Jemima being on a, on a on a pancake, you know, syrup bottle really like that much of a big deal in the grand scheme of things? No. But if it makes people feel more comfortable and, and a little bit better about things to remove that and change the name and, and re-image a bottle of goddamn shitty syrup, then shitty. then then what harm is it to you? Exactly. And like. When I started reading the history, I was like, oh, it was actually like that was a blackface character that existed. Mm. And I was like, oh, OK, like I just didn't know. And it's not like here's the thing, dude. The Black Lives Matter movement did not protest for that. That is Aunt Jemima covering their shit because yeah. everyone's now looking at their stuff and being like, oh, oh, here's that's ways that we're being insensitive. We're going to fix that. Oh, my God. The world is trying to be more <laughs> inclusive. How dare what us? The fuck. How dare us? Also, I don't think that the the age group of our our parents are comfortable with sort of releasing the powers of the world to our demographic. Like, there's there's definitely something that they're, they're certainly not comfortable with doing anything about climate change. So well, amongst amongst a lot of other things, the shit storm gets too fucking terrible. You absolutely know? <laughs> kind of what it feels like, dude. God damn it. And then we Lord. try to change something and they get mad about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, yeah. you got a lot more time on this place than you do. I know you eat Salisbury steaks for dinner. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say it, man. Don't like, knock a Salisbury to, steak, to put all right? Shit out quick. Salisbury steak has its place every once in Listen, a while. Listen, I'm not saying it does, man, but if TV dinners are an integral part of your weekly routine, like you're giving yourself a, 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 a disservice. Shelf life. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. You're, you're, you're moving the timer forward a little bit. That's that's all I'm saying. Oh, uh, like, there was at least once a week growing up that my parents, my, my mom would cook the Salisbury steaks, and um, my brother and I always used to call it jail food. Because I think I think we all kind of what it looks like. It's kind of what it is. And I, I think he must have heard a story. It's canned green beans, man. Yeah, canned green beans, <laughs> um, instant mashed potatoes, and some yep. Salisbury steaks. Uh, you know, I'd fuck that up honestly right now. I think sometimes you need you need some instant mashed potatoes in your life. Sometimes, dude, sometimes I cook all the fucking time. But sometimes I just want some Taco Bell, dude. Like, or some KFC, some KFC, some about KFC mashed potatoes and their gravy. I don't know what it is, but they I'll, slap hard. I'll, I'm, I'm all about them. That I'm chicken all about gravy, them. baby. Chicken fucking gravy. Is that what it is? It's the chicken. Yeah, it must be chicken. Yeah. Dude, all right. What are those little bowls they got? Where they got like the corn and the popcorn chicken. Oh, the filler up bowls or whatever they are. Yeah, dude, yeah. I fucks with it, dude. You got you get the chicken and the corn and the mash and like all mixed up into one. It's, it's a good like time. A fucking Southern Shepherd's pie. It's a good time. Yeah, man. Uh, all right. Well, 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 we'll go back to having a little bit more fun because that's what we're supposed to be doing here on Ono Radio Show. I just felt it necessary to vent a little bit about my my week, as it you know, yeah. as we're apt to do, of course, on this show. It's part of the reason that we do it. And and uh, at the top of the show, I mentioned that man, I hate when children sing. Like, what is this like? <laughs> You see it like old people. Old people love it. They love. Oh, look at the little children singing in the church chorus or whatever. And 
I'm sorry when I hate children singing. They're always out of tune. They're always <laughs> shitty. They fuck up the words. They don't know how to harmonize by any goddamn means. I, sure. I, I'm just called a spade a spade. I hate well, I hate when kids sing. I do not enjoy it. However, a children's choir in certain songs, I do fucks with. There has to be enough of them, though, to mask mm. the ones that can't find pitch. You know, yeah, Decemberists has a few songs where, like, when they're trying to be creepy, like, they bust in a children's choir, and you're like, it's pretty fucking freaky, actually. Yeah, like, when they, I like it when they use it in, like, that creepy kind of vibe. Like, thematically, it has a place. I get you there. I get you there. Are you guys familiar with the XTC song, Dear God? XTC. Disney Plus, Hulu, oh, and shit. ESPN. Oh, yeah, sorry. Man. There's a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> you, know you know that you know that song, right? Right, I uh, do. right, Ty. Yeah. I got that album. Oh man. Well, and I love I love me some XTC. They they have some some great tracks, some great tracks over the years. But they have a song, Dear God, and and honestly, it's appropriately named. But uh, yeah, hang on. Skip the fucking ad, you goddamn piece of shit. Here we go play it for you now it i think it opens up with a child's yeah it opens up with this child singing and um every single time i just want to i feel like punching this little kid in the face dear god hope you got the letter and i pray you can make it better dad. it's not great I don't need a bit is that like his kid or something like i don't know but all the people that you may know in there see them starving on their Oh, I just hate the kid. I just don't like him. I like the message of the song, but fuck the kid. I just I can't do that kid. I mean, the kid's just a bad singer, to no, be fair. Like, there are some kids that can actually sing. As someone who has worked on singing shows for children, <laughs> there are some kids that can fucking, they got some pipes. I see Christine in the chat room says that she loves when super young kids sing or super old people. Super old people. I'm in. That, Christine? I'm That's in. on record now, just so you know. <laughs> I, I'm in with this. Will old... be used in a court case one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. I'm in with. I'm in with old people singing. I love when you get like the old person that can barely like, barely even walk, and they sit down at the piano and they sing some lovely song to Gertrude. Oh, uh, dude, when there's uh, that voice raspiness oh, that raspiness. can only come with 85 years of age. Yeah, yeah. It's mostly breath. You know, mm -hmm. but it just kind of hits. Oh, yeah. No, that is that is legit. I'm in. I'm into that. I'm okay with that. But yeah. But fuck kids. Fuck kids. Kind of in general, though. That is also now <laughs> on record. So. Yeah, this yeah. will be used in a court case somewhere. <laughs> I ain't fucking going to bat for you on this, bro. Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, you know what I think it might be time for? Let's bring forth the clips. 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 You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips. You know we got them, baby. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, Clips is the type of the show we take a look at all the random shit that we find on the internet. Let's uh, go ahead and do the switcheroo of the, uh, the share of the screen here. So that uh, everybody can Bless see you. what the fuck is going on. Remember, guys, you got to always optimize. Always optimize <laughs> for your clips. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get into clips this week. We've got a lot of good ones. Our uh, clip commander, Tom, uh, found us some goddamn gems. By the way, shout out, to, shout out to our friend Tom, who's just been absolutely killing it with our branding and everything that we've been doing for the Ono Radio Show. Uh, he's, been, he's been putting in a lot of work, and we've been working together to kind of you know, fine tune the show, my friend. Fine tune it. This one, though, is uh, uh, roulette for pizza is what we're gonna start with, and uh, let's we'll see what you guys think about this. I love everything about this. One, already. two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. yeah. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Quite so. Uh oh. Uh, Finn and Kelton. Here we go. So I had two dollars and I wanted a feed. Something like a burger or a hot dog with cheese But when I scrolled through the food delivery app There was nothing on the budget that would satisfy my needs So I thought, oh man, what the hell can I do? I considered bank robbing, but that's a lot for some food So I turned to religion and got chatting with a preacher And he told me about this thing Roulette for pizza Pizza roulette Pizza roulette Chuck 
fucking two dollars. It's the pizza you get. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm already about <laughs> I fucking this. love this. I love this, too. I don't know why, but it's, it's one of my favorite things. I don't know what roulette for pizza really is, but uh, I hope it's a real thing. You join this some video. strangers in a randomized drawer. It doesn't matter if you have a gamble or pizza roulette. Pizza roulette for a couple of bucks. It even can be set. Randomizing pizza with the internet is what you're gonna get. Now kick it. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know why it's so amusing but uh I'm all about it can can someone look <laughs> up if pizza roulette is a real thing what is what is pizza roulette I don't what does this mean I don't really know I I, I want to think like why would you come up with that if there's no like what was you know what was the inspiration for pizza roulette let me look. I feel like here. Okay, I'm just gonna say stream of consciousness. First thing that comes to my mind, yeah, right, is like Pizza Roulette is an app that exists for pizza people that have finished their pizza and have a couple slices left, right? So all these extra slices <laughs> go into this slice of pizza pool, right? Okay. And when you all get right. Pizza Roulette, you drop two bucks in, and they're like, all right, cool, we're gonna give you two slices of pizza, and like maybe they reach into the, maybe they keep it in a trash can, maybe they consolidate it in a pizza box oh like, you know, fuck dude you know, like it's better than that it's types of pizzas and then you you eat half of each and then you put them in the same box and you sort of reach in the fridge because you know you're hungover and you grab a slice like it's like that but i imagine in my mind it comes to you dude i figured out Somehow. what it is i looked it up i looked it up you pop in two dollars with 15 people around uh, randomly across the country uh, every, we place everyone on a live roulette wheel and give it a spin, and then a piping hot pizza is automatically delivered to ever whoever wins. So you put two dollars <laughs> in and you can get a pizza. That's uh, actually I fucks with this. That's actually pretty. Yeah, you have to have a phone number to sign up. Like I'm in. I'm into this. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. I might have to try this <laughs> later on tonight. Get get a, get myself a a hot slice. I'm a, yeah, that's it's a never genius. a bad time for pizza. Like breakfast, lunch, dinner. If your standards are low enough, like pizza will always like it's what you want, but it's what you're sometimes ashamed to tell your friends that that's what you want. You know what I mean? And sometimes you don't want good pizza. Sometimes you want like a shitty like Domino's or uh, even a Papa John's. Like for me, it's a hungry Bro, Howie's. I, dude, I fucks with the the hot and ready little Caesars sometimes. Mm hmm. Yo, five bucks and I get a fucking pepperoni pizza. I walk in, get a hot pepperoni pizza, and walk out. And that crazy bread. Yeah, dog. Yeah. It's just bread with Parmesan, but it's it's crazy bread. It's so good. Yeah. It's good. It's so crazy. It's, it's, so crazy. It's, it's so crazy, man. It's so crazy. Dude. Uh, let's check out this anti-marijuana scare film from 1989. I'm sure this will make me not ever want to do the weeds again. It really does feel real when the game gets you, makes you do stuff. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Does smoking marijuana make you someone special? Like part of a really important crowd? Are you two going to try it? I don't know, man. Well, game, what do we need to know about it so we can decide for ourselves? Well, I have some good... What the fuck is that thing? That's, uh, I... that's terrifying. <laughs> that's rainbow face, bro. Rainbow face. I don't know. If, I, don't I think know. the gay community would be very offended. Also, how did I go back in time and sit next to Rainbow Face? Because that dude looks just that like is very me. Owen. That's very <laughs> Owen. <laughs> yeah. flannel it's and like all. It's like Owen. It's Owen with with the mullet met the bangs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it. Out. News and some bad news. And while there is no good news about kids and marijuana, that's always bad. There is good news about kids themselves. So, what do you want to hear first, the good or the bad? Let's save the good news to last. All right. Let's check out these reports. First up, there are about 400 chemicals in marijuana smoke. God damn. Some of them just as poisonous as the ones found in cigarette smoke. And like cigarette smoke, marijuana smoke can damage your lungs, your heart, and other parts of your body. And remember, where there's smoke, there's tar to get into your lungs. There's as That's much tar not the as saying, you joint. dummy. Stupid idiot. As there is in all these cigarettes. Look at this guy smoking fucking a whole pack of cigarettes at once. 
That's something that I would. That's me, actually. That's a lot of tar and tar and, and weed. Yeah, but of course there is. That many joints, like you smoke one or two <gasps> or ten, whatever. <laughs> like, man, smoke what you want. Life's short. <laughs> Life is short. Exactly. Life's short. Our parents are racist. It's like, yeah, let's, let's just just move. Let's just move on. Let's just yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at look at young Owen being all pissed off. I think I'll paint my room blue. Oh, they're blue stoned as fuck. Yeah, I can. Well, I don't know if she'll help. By the way, that noise happens in all of those the the you know uh, anti marijuana ads from the eighties. That I feel like I feel like. Uh, I feel like that's what Ty's like life sounds like. Like as he just hears that as he opens like doors or pickle jars or whatever he's doing. <laughs> like it's constantly that noise going on. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't I think she doesn't like it. Blue? Well my parents said it was all right with them. Strange, isn't it? It's so hard to understand what they're talking about. It's really pretty weird. And they your both room think blue. they're making perfect sense. Yeah, what's, what's wrong with the painting oh, of their a... room, by the way? Like, why is that such a terrible yeah. thing? Pa paint it blue, bitch. Yeah, yeah, right. that... yeah, that's a normal conversation. It's pretty neat. Some people actually go to class with this stuff in their brains and then try to learn things. The... Yeah, it's high. I bet you went to <laughs> class with all these things in, in, in your brain. I, I did learn some things at the same time. <laughs> Feeling you get from marijuana wears off in a few hours. Oh, man. But the chemicals this in marijuana great. stay in your body for up to a whole month. And who knows what they're doing while they're in there. Here comes Paul. Oh, dude, Ty, what are those chemicals doing in your brain, bro? <laughs> who knows what they're doing in there? They're, they're chilling in your fat cells. <laughs> it's cozy. Yeah, that's what they want to chill. Yeah, they're, you know, killing off cancer and stuff. Smoking yeah. marijuana may seem like the easy way to become part of the crowd, but the chemicals in it can actually make you afraid to talk to people, even yeah. your friends. That's that's Everybody. true though. That is true. I have got the paranoia before, where I'm like, oh, I don't want to be around any of you motherfuckers. Like, get me that roulette for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Little Caesars got dude. This is '89. They probably had one dollar hot and ready. That's true. Oh, imagine hot and ready. Yeah. Marijuana is illegal. And finally, to wrap up the bad news about marijuana, there is mounting evidence to show that it can decrease the production of sexual hormones. Also, you had to have been on marijuana to create this character that's talking about not doing marijuana. I know, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I feel like he's truly appreciated while absolutely. Oh, right. uh, this guy's stoned up his fucking gourd. Oh, yeah. Look at his and eyes. And you should know that the younger you are, the more marijuana can harm you. And the same goes for white. cigarettes and alcohol, too. So what was the good news you were going to tell us about, game? The good news is that lots of kids these days aren't bothering to start smoking marijuana at all. But there's still pressure from some people. Oh, you can beat that. Watch this report. Oh. <laughs> Let's go smoke up, guys. Yeah. This guy's cool. That guy. That guy. That, that's like Ty in high school right now. Yo. No, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, like, that's actually not the worst advice. Like, you really shouldn't be smoking until you're like 18. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. not wrong. Well, your brain's developing. Like, it is kind of like, but here's the thing if you legalize marijuana, it will become harder to get. No, no, you can't tell people you that. You know why I fucking smoked in high school, bro? Because booze was so hard to fucking right. get. Right. had to have someone with an ID. There's no black market booze. It was just all regulated. I used to stand out in front of the Hess near my house, and I got uh, the... This only happened once. Yo, but I got yeah, the 20, man. Here, give me a six pack, keep the change. Yeah, like, dude. Like, it's a fucking thing. When I was like 14 or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was never, uh, it was never a six pack. It was always uh, at least a 12. Cause, you know. Well, you know, whatever. But you were, you were paying twenty dollars for like yeah. eight dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moves, you know, but that is the cost of doing illegal business. You know. <laughs> Oh man, Norm! God damn it! He's like, I knew a, I knew a girl that used to suck off a dude that worked at a crummy sitco to buy alcohol. <laughs> that's, damn, that's sad. If there was a market for that for me, I might have. I right? Know. Who knows? <laughs> Can't even think about it after doing all this milk. What, what are you guys talking about? Talking about bowling. 
What are you talking about? I thought it was math. No, it was socks. I was talking about socks. Oh, oh they're making fun like of me. Socks. Nice socks. Do you like them, Tony? Yeah, real funny guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these judgmental assholes, too. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking a. What? Weed is cool. So first of all, yeah, fuck you. Fuck like, that. Weed is cool as shit. Like everyone knows that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, uh, move on a little bit. There's a, uh, oh, this song right here. Probably the best song ever written about uh, the tragedy 9-11. Here you go. There's a <laughs> large catalog. By, by <laughs> Doug Allen. In 2001, terrorists attacked our nation using planes as guns. The New York City skyline filled with smoke that fateful day. As New York's famed twin towers rose inside and hit the hay. We held our fire till we found the terror hit. Across the Atlantic Ocean in Iraq and Afghanistan. Fired our guns and blazed the path for freedom. Freedom for our people under driving by the same. Americans divided on the need for fighting back. There even was confusion if our land had been attacked. The backbone of the congressman was tested to the core As young and brave Americans were slain in lands abroad This sounds like something South Park would write. Mm. It's so, too serious. Can, can I interject here really quick? <laughs> please, please. Make, make an observation. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I actually can tell a difference between good and bad pop country. It yeah. all literally sounds the same to me. Mm. And I love like folk and Americana and stuff, but like this song, like if you were a bit like, yeah, Keith Brooks wrote that, I would have been like, okay, yeah, I, I'm kind yeah, I mean, of, I'm obviously kind of the, with odd, you. the production quality is quite trash, but the the formula is the formula. Garth Brooks had a couple of fucking fuck real good fucking jams though back in the day, like so I can tell those Garth Brooks like. Ain't going down till the sun comes up. I ain't giving in till you get enough. Going around the world in a pickup to rug. Work. Ain't going down to the sun come up. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't don't fuck with that track. And then every, every artist is someone's full name. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, this is Doug Allen. You could tell me he's the most favorite famous country artist in the world, and I'd be like, yeah, Doug okay, Allen cool. sounds like a famous country artist. So, yeah, I mean, he does. He, he does. does. <laughs> like he sounds right. He's on a horse, bro. Here's Look one that you'll know then. Here's one that you'll know, Trav. The White Claw song. That shit, you know that's a it banger. Slaps, man. That's a banger right there. It's so, a banger. Yeah. It's a banger. Hell goddamn yeah. Spent many years without doubt about our cause. The terrorists attacked and they challenged all our laws. They did all they could to divide the sacred land. They filled the West with doubt about the cause for which we stand. Oh man. So, that's what it's probably what your dad listens to, right, Ty? No, it's definitely not that bad. No. <laughs> I can't. I can't actually listen to. Uh, I can't listen to that one anymore. I'll be honest with you. It's fucking terrible. We got. Uh, we got two more clips here, and we'll go with. Uh, we'll go with Mario be playing T Bub T Bub music video. I don't know what the fuck this one is, so we're gonna find out together. That sounds awesome. Let's see. All right. T Dub in the club. Mario be playing. T Dub, T Dub in the club. All right, hang. All right, all yeah. Right, Directed by Adam. You wanna play with your Mario game? I had a big Rams as a big tank. Cause oh, Mario shit. might be super, but I'm super duper with a big tooper. Cause no one's gonna hit it like me. Cause Mario. Is this guy doing this? You think his like high school, uh, like talent show nah, or this something. Feels like a re this feels like a freestyle rap battle. Yeah, it's, you're right. You're right. It's, it's, that's what the vibe is here, and especially with like the image cut out. He's on a stage somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right. So Mario mad has respect, man. The big C, but I got an A plus on that test because it's a big mess. 
Mario might be a superman, but I'm going to have a big tan. He might have went to the past to the, to the future, but I'm going to make the new game have the neutral. Man, the Mario can't play like the T-Dubs on the Meg. Man, you want to hit it down with the big town? Man, you can't be like the big brown. My boy Emo, he has a Simo. And Seth and Emo, once they get together, they're gonna be the team of the meme. You see, my boy Seth, he can rap like the Mac. That's on the test. Man, you can't I be love this kid, actually. This kid rules. Man, you can't beat him because he's gonna see him. Man, he's gonna hit it down with the big town. I'm gonna make it round. I had a big town in A town. I went. I came from a place named Charlotte. A boy came and bought a lot. What? He gonna what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I I am amused and and angry at the same time. You love so it. I, you love it. The, the the Mario music was added in the background. It had to have been. Yes. Yeah. This after the fact for sure. For sure. What this feels like to me is that a freestyle rap battle. When like you ask the crowd for a subject and they're like Mario, yeah, yeah, yeah he's it might like, be that. I I'm gonna try to rap about Mario. Oh, yeah. um, I wish that he was able to open his mouth more than a quarter of an <laughs> inch. That would be super because like I'm under I am I'm probably understanding about one out of eight words mm -hmm. that he's saying. You know, like, well, that's what you gotta that's take. what you gotta do in a freestyle. You gotta just make sure to you know. <laughs> yeah. You know uh, what? Make like, it sound you know, close based on enough. That shirt, his look, his old vibe, man. Yo, mad respect. He's probably doing something that's scaring the piss out of him right now. So I, I Sam, Sam thinks it's someone just rapping over this video. She doesn't think it's this kid. I don't know, man. I, 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 but but we're also being asked if anybody on the show can can freestyle. I can't uh, freestyle. No, uh, not at I all. Think, I think Ty is clearly the best freestyler of of the but bunch. But why? No. Ah, uh, look at you. Look <laughs> no. at you. You got you got that funky fresh. You got it, man. Like, come on. Yeah, pretty pretty sure it would be you. I mean, oh, give me and the I Mario know for theme. a fucking fact you can freestyle. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it plenty of times. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not the best. But come on. You're better than <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you a subject. I'll I'll do some. What's Fucking this? Mario, let's go. All right. Get down like a part of my. I mean, I gotta get the. Like I, the hang on, I gotta get the beat. Tony Hawk. But you think my name Tony is Mario. Hawk, so What's the wall? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Pause this. Here we go. Yeah, yeah where's the party, yo? Owen's here coming with like a the Super toilet. Nintendo. Rocking around the Super Nintendo. Nah, I can't get it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the proper beat. It's definitely what it is. See, today is the day that I'm gonna play the game. Big yeah. Okay, I see what they're saying. The li the lips don't line up with his with his thing. Wait, wait a minute. Let's skip, skip the hell a little bit. Now he's dancing. Are the hooks, are the big oh, look at him dancing. All yeah. the ladies want me, but it's gonna be a game that plays the rain. Other than Mario, see he is a princess, but I get all the others. Hot princesses. He wants one. I want all the others because it's gonna be a sucker. I take it back. I like it now. It's good. It's good. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. We got one more. We got one more clip for the week, and uh, this one's pretty much for uh, you, Ty. We've always got to yes. have a Ty-centric clip. This is a uh, Kling and M. All right. So uh, this is a mashup of not necessarily a mashup, but it's a it's a uh, uh, a Klingon M and M song uh you remember that that song uh oh god just like me or what was it i think i can't remember what the name of it was you'll find out in a minute but it's klingons from star trek to eminem ty i know you're gonna love this oh man <laughs> oh slim shady klingon rap and fuck you norm yeah, No much I took two mac, cling and hold die, cling and hold die, cling and hold die. Yeah! No much I took two mac, cling and hold die, cling and hold die. Get locked up. Got corner. Dog Not Get love 
kan jeppe, a tjuv di var her fight Bom vi tenni smak, tjekke vi har betjakt Må det er true mer, klingen har vi låt tak Tak, 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 ben er tak, tak, tak Dude, how impressive is it in all seriousness that these nerds like have learned a whole fictional yeah. language that to the point where this dude can even like rap in it? Like that shit's kind of, that is kind of impressive, right? It's it commitment. Is, I, and I mean he's definitely slowed down the rap like, you know, the cadence of that song is very like quick. Bop, 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 yeah, but yeah, yeah, still, yeah. Like he's doing all right though for Klingon. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> The site surveying. Like, oh, dude, yeah, there's some incredible backgrounds quality, in this, like, right? He, I feel like it's in Israel or something or somewhere in the Middle East. I feel East. like it is, too. I mean, yeah. it's definitely... I'm into it. You know, Eurasian. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Tom in the chat room says, there is no honor in his mom's spaghetti. <laughs> 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 That's good, Tom. I like that. Game cover and a boo. Dark my bone. This is pretty great, actually. That, that seems like cool. So. Go in our page, Dach Judge Bo, Dach Mashu, Chuck Do Maher, Dach Maher, Merjak Shu, Chu, Dach Recho, Yo, Yo, Kitch, Dach, and Chu, Kuka, Bulu, Dach Mashu, Chuck Do Maher. Yeah, he's in front of like an Egyptian pyramid type thing there. Oh, yeah, obviously. Oh, now he's in the, now he's in the wilderness. Ah. <laughs> Egypt has trees. Uh, it's cold, obviously. It's snow on the ground. Egypt don't got no snow. It's a green screen for sure. No way, dude. <laughs> don't believe you. Don't believe you. Don't. No way. I, I have a speech. <laughs> 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 Some of it's green screen. Some think of it all is. Of it is yeah, though. not all of it is. Like that's like because I think the chat room's actually been like, "Fuck!" Like, uh, does Egypt have snow? We're fooled. Egypt doesn't have snow. No way. No way. No. Oh shit. I mean, it's like Egypt is like like a half a mile away from Gibraltar. Like, do they ever get snow? Like up in mountain regions? No, but my wife just turned off the lights in the studio because <laughs> she's probably going to bed. And she, we've got the whole, like, hue thing. So thank you, love, for, for doing that. Like, <laughs> What's up, T? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I, feel like, I feel like even as a sort of white Star Trek nerd, his Klingon is still white nerdy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. So, so lately I've been listening to a lot of uh, – uh, Rusty Jux. Uh huh. You guys are familiar with him. No. But he's an underground kind of rapper, but like a lot of his like albums he does with just like rappers from like around the world. Sure. And he does a lot of people from South Africa. So you get like the Afrikaans. He does like a, a lot of work with French rappers and stuff. And this doesn't sound dissimilar to something I would hear <laughs> outside of like Eminem and well, outside of the Dr. Dre. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Here, like, well, is it? Well, is it? Yeah. Well, let's do a little bit more and then uh, we'll wrap up. Clips I'm in. No, 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 I don't. I'm lying. I'm lying completely. But anyway, guys, that was Clips. 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 You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips. You know we got them, baby. Clips. Yeah, that was Clips. We all like a good clip. And hey, man, like, 
who can't who can't kind of love that dude? I mean, he's he's living his best life. I I, I support him. I support Absolutely. him. The random screen, uh, the random like choices of subtitles was curious. Though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There are times he would like drop like Klingon subtitles, and it was like, like what made that ooh. line special? <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta wonder <laughs> what something I'm supposed to know. I think I'm supposed to. Yeah, who knows? Because I do not speak Klingon. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not what I know. <laughs> Oh, that was fun, though. Oh, shit. Hang on. I fucked up your camera. One second. It's my fault. I gotta do that thing. My bad. Oh, no. No, it's just, it's, it's on my end. I'm, I'm doing, I'm dealing with sh things. There we no, go. You're back. To see my scars. You're back. You're back. You're back. On. Anyway. Oh, on. Uh, oh, oh, Norm, don't leave us. Oh, don't leave us. He's gonna go slam Norm. some donuts. Norm, come back. Oh, Norm. Norm. What are we gonna do without you making fun of me the whole time in the chat room? <laughs> what are we gonna Norm, do? Norm, someone has to do it. <laughs> it's not you. Who will? Who will? Exactly. Uh, someone will. It's time for you to show. <laughs> Guys, we'd love it if possible for you to uh, donate a little bit of cash to our Patreon, patreon.com slash ONRS. Things have been tough. I'm out of a job. Ty's out of a job. Trav's Hello. out of a job. Only person with a job is the member of the show that isn't here that's making tacos. And you see how well that's going for everybody. So, Jesus Christ, hit up the donate uh, over at, like, patreon.com slash ONRS. Yeah, we occasionally. love, guys. We fucking need it. We seriously. need it. We need it. And uh, I really appreciate if you if you do it. Speaking of all, uh, one more thing before we, we go to break. I uh, I got a kick out of this the other day because me and Teresa were we're chilling on the porch. I think it's Saturday maybe, and uh, having a couple bevies, you know, out there enjoying life. And uh, we're flicking through Facebook where I am, and I find this video of this super super duper fat cat. And who doesn't love a fat chonkers I like cat? Chonky boys. Yeah, everybody loves a good <laughs> chonky cat. I think. Like and and uh, she says, well, you know, she's like, whoa, you know, that's the fattest cat you've ever seen type thing. And uh, I said, you know, well, um, you know, wonder how she, you know, this cat got so fat. And, and she'd had a couple. And my wife just comes out with these things from time to time. I love her to death. It's one of the reasons I love her. She's just like, oh, it's probably from Russia. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah. Yeah. Like all fat cats. They're they're. They're from Russia because they gotta be, they gotta be warmer up there. Like they gotta have more body fat. Oh, that actually so, checks out. I mean, yeah. I understand her logic, but like Teresa, not all fat cats live in Russia or are from Russia or are descendant of a cat from Russia. I do not believe this. This is like the time that you told me that giraffes have holes in the bottom of their necks to breathe. Like they don't have that. Like that's that's just it's. <laughs> Well, unless they've been smoking for most of their life. Mm, it's true. It's true. Teresa's animal facts might just be a new uh, segment on the show. <laughs> just... <laughs> kind of loving it, honestly. I think I might enjoy it more than regular animal facts. Yeah. Uh, Teresa's animal yeah. facts are the best because you get some of the most random shit on the planet. Oh, I yeah. can send it. Let's All fat go. cats. They're from the Russian. It's Russian cats. Definitely Russian cats. Like, what? what? Okay. <laughs> Did it check out? Were they no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no comrade they were not <laughs> it is the time that we take a little break i'm a little boy that's about to pee his pants um probably because of all the you know stuff i've been drinking here but we'll take a little break on this on this break though um travis uh we're gonna be playing a couple of your uh food videos your demonstrations yeah. if you will i think our audience is gonna enjoy them because they're quite entertaining in their commentary oh, and uh and they're good in they're great production and you guys have done a great job with them Tell everybody uh, how they can actually find you on YouTube or wherever to watch some of these videos. So, uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Mr. Travioli. Facebook, I'm Travis Crowley. Um, and then on YouTube, if you uh, YouTube search Kitchen Travesty. But Kitchen Travesty. Travesty. Like the name 
Ty. Dude, I'll have yeah. you. I'll have you text all of those to me so that when yeah, I go totally. to do the show pres- uh, 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 description, we can. I can throw all those in, and we can, and we can uh, 100% like make sure that we got uh, some people kind of you know going to your shit there, bro. That'd be great. Yeah. Full disclosure: I don't measure a lot of my ingredients, so don't be weirded out by it. But dude, no, I think that's part of the charm of it. Honestly, it's it's you uh, don't need to fuck it. It's eg- a fucking meal. Exactly, like, exactly. Get out. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, it is time that we go to uh, take a little bit of a break. Uh, oops. Yeah, that's loud. My bad being that loud. Guys, we will be back in approximately 15 uh, to 20 minutes. So, uh, well, but you know. Like I said, enjoy some of the awesomeness that Travis has to provide here. And, uh, and yeah, what do we say when we get out of here for the first segment, Ty? Fuck, Fuck your, your dreams. Fuck them. Fuck them. They're useless. Don't see it. We'll see you in a few. Stay tuned. <laughs>